This is a certified hood classic. I know, I know, I know, I know. Y'all don't have to tell me. Y'all been wondering where the hell I've been with the King of the Hill videos. No excuse. No excuse. Well, I do have one. I, I, I was trying to make things... No excuse. But not for real, listen. No, but serious. I was trying to make things better for the channel. I was chopping things up and getting things together. Just trying to make it better for the channel. Just trying to try new things and scooby-doo and solo level and all that stuff and y'all yeah, was just like uh-uh mm -mm, nope we are gonna make sure that y'all king of the hill the king of the hill voice is heard it's heard i hear it i hear it loud and clear and you know what i'm not gonna disrespect y'all no no more i apologize you know i didn't drop no king of the hill last week you know what i'm saying and we're still waiting to see if becky is alive She's gone, y'all. Y'all gonna have to, y'all just gotta deal with that. But man, today we're getting ready to watch some more. King of the Hill, man. I appreciate everybody coming in and showing some love for your boy, man. Make sure you hit the like button. Go over to the Patreon if you wanna see the full video with no cuts, man. All right, and I'll see you over there. Parachute that opens. Can we move this along? I have a full day ahead of me. Boggle with Nancy at two, softball practice at four, and at some point I should probably take a shower. Nope. Okay, you went, you stink. Bro, okay, I, I had a feeling. I knew they couldn't just kill her off. But I need to know how you fall from an airplane. This is specifically plot armor. This is specifically, it doesn't even make sense. How do you fall from an airplane? Well, she is cast okay, up, but I just don't get it. Don't expect to be 100% right away. It's likely your muscles have atrophied. Well, what you may not know, Doctor, oh, is that every morning since the accident, I have been doing isometric butt clenches. Ugh, no, no, strong booty you, ass. Doctor. I will take over from here. Hey, Hank, she gonna rip your shit off. <laughs> oh! Oh, yeah. Well, that makes sense. That makes sense. You know, you're not gonna be in tip-top shape. You know, that makes sense. I just want to know, how does she survive, bro? Am I missing something? Uh, glass. I just don't get it, bro. I really don't. <laughs> well, what do you know? <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> smell in here at all. Oh, God, but it should. Is that Connie in the back? He's talking about, oh, oh. <laughs> That's when you, when, you, when you go down in some good puss. <laughs> oh, oh come on, right, Peggy. Sorry. You'll be back on your feet in no time. Stop moping. I can see why I that would be upsetting moping. for her. I am having trouble supporting my head. Peggy Hill. <laughs> All right. My name's Ramsey. I'm your physical therapist, and I'm going to have you walking again in no time. You no, nah, boy, you the back black Mr. Clean, boy. I don't trust you, boy. Uh, uh, Mr. Clean, Mike Tyson, he, he talked like this. Well, sure. Boy, maybe not today. <laughs> maybe not tomorrow. In a month? Way too soon. <laughs> That's, Don't be so tough choice. on yourself. Nobody spends six weeks in a cast without their body going a little soft. But that's okay. Don't touch Water my wife, too. <laughs> but give it time, and it'll carve the Grand Canyon. Now, nice. that didn't take a day, a week, or even a month. It took over 200 years. The Grand Canyon oh, took millions of years. You gotta learn to trust me, Mrs. Hill. We're gonna be working Bro, together one hour at a time, right. once a week, for however long it takes to carve you a Grand Canyon. AKA, they don't care. Once a week for however long it take, and you and you better know, you better know they charging her out the wazoo. That's the asshole. Stop. But but for real, like they they you know I've been to physical therapy before, not personally for me, but for my dad. He had hurt both of his knees. <laughs> That's why I make a lot of knee jokes. I mean, man, we used to call him call him scooting poop. He was he was getting around town with no knees. Sometimes he would get on the ground and he was scooting around. And the man is like six five. Like, there's, there's no small guy. I, always some of the biggest respect I've ever seen that I have for my father was during that time, you know, because he was just, you know, he didn't let nothing stop him. Nothing stopped him. He still went to his places. He was He's a DJ. He still went and did his gigs. He did everything he needed to do, and he couldn't even walk. So what I'm saying all that to say is I remember seeing how – some of the physical therapists treated my dad, and I didn't like it. Now, I'm not saying all physical therapists do that, but I'm just saying, like, it just seemed like they didn't care, bro. Like, it really didn't. It really didn't. I wish I remembered the name of the facility, because I would blast their ass right now, bro. But I can't, because I don't. And if I did, eh. We're going to do this drop by drop. Are you with me? Well, all right. I guess so. 
No. Okay, let's do it. Great. You got it, Peggy. See you next week. Next Damn. week. Damn! Drop by drop, Mrs. Flores. Yeah, you got it. She ain't doing shit. Now, I am moping. Yeah, I would be too. No they peeking. ain't even helping her. I'm not peeking. Okay, you can open your eyes. Okay, they're open. Louise. Peggy is a strong uh, woman, though, all the way around. I ain't gonna lie. Remember she the is ten a bags of woman. cement you said I'd never use? Well, I used one. Nice, a okay. Wheelchair ramp. Well, I thank you. Now I don't have to be trapped in the house, huh? I can go anywhere. Don't in be my... don't be passive aggressive. That was pretty nice of Hank, bro. Chill. Thank you. Look, Dad. Big I'm nose so feeler. No, right, Bobby. <sighs> oh, Bobby. I'm driving you to school today. We need to talk. <laughs> Ooh, Stop I'm sniffing it. Parenting class. Luann, could you give me a ride and help me find the baby? Damn, Dee Dee bounced back, didn't she? Holland. Okay, you and you and Luann uh, sure are perfect am for glad each other. You're out Stupid. That body cast, Peggy. Well, thank you, Bill. What do you suppose they do with something like that? Throw it out. I. He imagine. is nasty. Uh. He is nasty. He's a freak. Homer Simpson. We see you running. He going to sniff that cast. Oh, Lord. Here we go. <laughs> he going to have something to say. Well, he ought to know. He ought to know. He had both his shins blown off. So, hey, you know, maybe he might be the best person to talk to. Maybe a little tough love. I thought he was putting it on his arm, bro. Okay, he ain't talking shit. Oh, damn. She can... Damn, Peggy. You got it. Come on, Peg. Come on, Peg. Peg. Calling her Peg is crazy. Ain't you gonna eat your waffle, Hank's wife? It's right in front of you. Reach for it. Come oh, on. God. You wouldn't nah. have a day in a Japanese POW camp. I don't... You know what? I I'm not going to get on him about that. Because I know that I can tell that he's trying to motivate her. I definitely can tell that. Because he's like, because he he watched her. He didn't, he just, he watched her do that shit. And then he's trying to motivate. I, that's what I think. But maybe I, I have been wrong before on South Park. <laughs> Told Joe had me cooped up in a bamboo rat cage. There was nothing to eat except rats. So that's <laughs> what I ate. After two weeks, I was down to my last rat. I let him live so I can eat his droppings. Called it jungle rice. Take you are oh, you nasty bitch. But he did what he had to do to survive, I guess. Yeah, by September, I was finally thin enough to <laughs> yeah, he the bamboo bars of my cage. <laughs> he rode it back and locked that mother. You ain't going nowhere, bitch. You better get. That's what he said. That's what he said with his actions. If somebody's trying to get away from you in a wheelchair and they rolling. And you come back and wheel them back exactly. You know good and well they don't want to be there. Put them back up to the table and lock they and lock they chair. He said you ain't going nowhere, bitch. That's what he said with his action. Another guard with a rope made of braided rat tails and ran to safety. And he's oh still my eating. god! Well, that's my ride to rehab. To be continued. Ah, oh, he said we still gonna talk about it, ma'am. I can't. That's okay. I can't. You got it. I can't. That's all right. Oh. Oh. Great set. You showed that rubber band who was boss. But you told me to do eight to 12 reps. I maybe did a zero to one reps, if oh, you count damn. that last one. Every drop counts, Mrs. Hill. You he ain't lying, the rock. And by the way, I checked. We were both right. It was 200 million years. We were both right, bro. You were so, wrong as hell. I was rehab. The hell? I you can't even accept that you was today. wrong. Hey, that's. Oh, uh, hey, hey, Hank got a hold of that ass. <laughs> Look how he got that ass. He was like, man, just because you're crippled, don't mean I can't get that ass. Great. Oh, who am I kidding? That, boy that rubber right. band kicked my ass. Look, I know one you're step disappointed. At a time. You just got to take it one day at a time, like For the real. drunks do. He going to eat Hank, that Hank, I just want to go to sleep. S stop! Fetal position, please. Oh, no. Pig, no, man. I hate to see her so, you know, defeated, though. Because she's a strong... Oh, yeah. He's a strong freak. She's a strong woman, and he's a strong freak. What? I, I just... I don't. <laughs> Why? Why? I just get so lonely. And we both like playing Boggle. 
Of course, wow. she always wins, doesn't she? She, please don't tell Hank. I want her for the carpool lane. What? Bro, y'all, oh, hey. your friends are not friends. Oh. Ooh, that's enough to set you over the edge. Have y'all ever been mad at something? Have y'all ever been mad and then y'all stub your toe or like hit yourself or hit your knee on something, bro? And you just, oh, you want to be so mad. You want to be mad, but you know. The the real the real aggravating part is to know that at the end of the day it was your fault. It was your fault at the end of the day. That bed ain't moved since you put it down. It was your fault. Oh. <laughs> that what they've been teaching you in rehab, Hank's wife? Okay, Connie, Hank's you have wife. had your fun. Now, why don't Call you help me name. into my chair? Why don't you help yourself? Well, I am trying. Don't you think I am trying? I can't. Because you're weak. You ain't got that Look at his stuff. finger. You don't deserve Ugh. to walk again. Oh, go. God. She'll be right there. What are you, you going to do? You want to waste your time in rehab? Get in your chair and go. You sadistic son of a... What are you on your knees for, woman? No. Nah. Praying ain't going to help. If God loved you, he'd have opened your sissy chute. You shut oh, up. Oh, you... God. Right. Uh, uh, See? But you got up. But you got up. That's some of that tough love that I think that is missing out of the world now, bro. Everybody is so soft. No, don't say that to her. Stop it. It's like, no, you know, don't be an asshole. But sometimes that tough love, that pain that you go through makes you strong, bro. And if you ain't strong, everybody that's went that... Batman had to have his parents killed before he was Batman. He saved everybody. I'm just saying, you know. She can't say nothing. Teach me to walk. You ready nice. to hate me more than you ever hated anyone in your life? I already do. Then we're happy nice. there. <laughs> <laughs> they were they were halfway there. I know that's right. I'm I'm loving this. Don't you wipe on me? Don't look away. Sitting there all high and mighty <laughs> in your wheelchair like you're some Franklin D. Eleanor Roosevelt. Well, okay. I got that telegram for you. You're He's no so FDR. Stop. You're wasting my time. Stop. stop. I'm not even sure you want to walk. Well, Cotton, of course. I hey, I'll play with that. Stop. Just stop. I do. Then tell me you want to walk. <laughs> I, I want to walk. I can't. No, say. I want to walk. What's that? I want to walk. Good. There you go. Now shine my boots oh. and make them all sparkly. I'm going to be buried in those nasty stumpers at the Texas State Cemetery. That's why our government interrs its war heroes. Inters okay. means bury. War heroes <laughs> means me. They're right, I know that's there. right. Well, first I gots to die. But before that, I got to fill out an application and be approved by a damn commission. I what? killed 50 men, and now I gotta go begging for a war hero's grave? It ain't right. Wow. My arms I guess are not. tired. It ain't. I was tired, too, when I was ordered to retake Blunder Airfield in the Solomon Islands. But I retook it anyway. Man, hey, one, before he gets into his story with his old, old ass, one, shout out to him, bro. Shout out to all the veterans, bro. Shout out to all the veterans that laid down their life, that put that put their life on the line when they didn't feel like it, when they was dehydrated, when they was malnourished, bro. When they didn't, when when they didn't, when they didn't, they missed their family, bro. When they wanted to see their family, while people were at home playing PlayStation, having fun. Maybe not in World War II, but you know, just out having fun, getting drinks, getting some puss. Look, they was out there fighting, fighting. Even the people that, you know, whatever, bro, you know, down the line, bro, all the wars, bro, just, they were, everybody was at home playing PlayStation. Even in the Revolutionary War, they was playing PlayStation in the bunkers. I don't know what I'm talking about. Look, all I'm trying to say is, bro, shout out to the, all the veterans, bro. You get the biggest salute from me. Shout out to all our veterans. Shout out to all our allies and the veterans. Um... And also, shout out to all the service members, including police. Shout out to them as well. You know what I'm saying, bro? Just shout out to all the good people in this business that makes 
I wouldn't say business. America's like a business. I always looked at it like that. But anyway, shout out to all the good people in this country that are making it go round, bro. From the people that are, you know, you know, putting grocery bags together, you know what I'm saying, bro, to all the way up to, you know, the people who are putting out fires, man. I just I just want to say big salute to y'all, man. Look at this. Oh, Joe, I had a machine gun nest. I, I want to be in the here. military. I did. Don't look at me like that. I snuck myself behind enemy lines. In I chose music. Drum of sake. <laughs> oh, sake? They got good and drunk. And then I jumped out. What? Damn, that's a horrible way to die. I bought you the whole squad. Come on, lady, make them shine. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, but she's getting into it, and I, can, I support that. two minutes off my commute. Wow. Mm, thanks, Peggy. Yeah, uh, please don't what? tell Hank. It's just disrespectful. Talking about like just like build those trees, man. I'm not angry, man. It's just, I'm very damn disappointed, man. But right, I am too, Boom Hour, bro. Yeah. I am too, bro. I am hey, too. Hey, time's over, Hank's wife. Oh, now look what you done. He's crying. Whatever. Go, 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 go. Oh, poor little baby sitting on a fresh grenade. Nobody likes that. Well, I can't get to him. Crawl, damn it. Crawl. Take, it, take that baby away from him. Poor little baby on a what? Wow. On that. 44. I crawled through a minefield to retrieve General MacArthur's corn cob pipe. As I would love to talk to him about World War II. They're gonna bury me in the Texas State Cemetery. You, you're a coward. They'll bury you <laughs> up on Coward's Hill. I am not a coward. You not. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you doing, swatting flies? Or just waving along? Well, hello to you too, you fly swatting loser. Now move it. <laughs> Colonel, I think the baby's crying. A good job. Those parenting classes are starting to pay off. Thank you. Nice. All I think is to pick the baby yeah, up. I don't mean to brag you about the stakes here, but uh, Dad, you can take out your teeth. Shouldn't we wait for Aunt Peggy to get back from rehab? <gasps> she in that oh rehab? Oh my God. Was it my turn to pick her up? How she quit the rehab? She what? Yep, they, I'm in charge what? now. She's making good progress. Don't need her wheelchair no more. What? <laughs> <laughs> she crawling around, but at least oh she got her God. arm strength. Peggy, what have you done to my wife? Turned her into <laughs> a highly trained, highly motivated fighting machine. That's how my dad was, except for he wasn't crawling like this. He was scooting around. <laughs> this is crazy, Dad. You're not a medical professional. First Scooting thing tomorrow, too. we're going back to rehab. Is that what you want? You want to drop no. out of the program? Sir, no, sir. I know that's right. <gasps> Hank, don't be soft. Get your beams. <gasps> Good effort. Have some chow. That was nice. That was nice. <laughs> oh, God. She's eating on the floor, though, Loki. Hank, the steak is so tender. <laughs> How did get you out of that house? Nothing there but girls Shut and up. babies. <laughs> I'm referring to your husband. And that's why I brought you here. Meet the greatest collection of soldiers this country oh. has ever known. I know you ain't taking her ass to a nursing home, boy, with these old farts. Shout out to them because uh, they were our vendors. Stinky, fatty, stinky, Brooklyn, stinky, Brooklyn. I wonder why you call them all stinky, boy. Nasty fart body ass. Fatty, fatty, and doc. Oh, and die? No, that's stinky. Uh, uh, that's stinky for the too. Flag. And now we're giving you the honor of raising it. Show us how a real hero starts his day. Oh, how many boots did you shine? Your arms is still flabby. You done right. left old glory at half mast. Oh no. Oh, who died? Is it Come you? on, pig. Are you dying on me? Go ahead. Cause you Come on, on pig. You worthless. Damn. Oh, <laughs> well, what do you know? That gal might have what it takes after all. <laughs> <laughs> he said he shut his mouth. He's like, he's like, oh shit, I can get my ass whipped. My bad. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, Peggy, you've done enough for the day. I'll do it for the rest of the show. 
Now raise that flag. Peggy get my respect. She get my respect. She get my respect until the next episode that I know she's gonna fuck it all up. Seven. Dang it. Huh? Yep. What is Set that? Set it for five thirty. Cotton wants me to cut back on my sleep. Says it's making me soft. Uh, Peggy, you remember how you've always hated my father? Don't well, be soft. I never wanted to say anything because I didn't want to hurt your feelings, but uh, I think my dad is not too fond of you either. Stop, bro. You know, Hank. You know, this is one. This is one time that I'm gonna say I don't agree with Hank. I don't agree with him all the time, but this is one time for sure. He that was soft. That was soft and insecure. That was soft and insecure because, like, the reason why I say that is because Hank has, she's getting better. She's improving. Her relationship with his father is better. Now, of course, he don't really like his dad for what he did to his mom, so he doesn't want his wife to kind of follow those footsteps. I do keep in mind in that. I do understand how that Peggy can be a little bit impressionable where she and, and she does kind of defy their relationship. She don't really listen to Hank all the time. I understand that. But right now, she needs that tough love. She needs to do what she needs to become more than what she was. So that way, she can be more than she is now. And right now, it's halfway crippled. That's, she's halfway crippled. She needs to be more than that. She's used to walking. She's used to doing things. He needs to let, put his pride aside, let that shit go, let his father do what he what he needs to do. In fact, I honestly believe that his father shouldn't be doing this. I think that Hank should be doing this. You know what I'm saying? I think this kind of soft of Hank to not have any involvement in any of this. But it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, that's, that's my thoughts. Pretty much. Uh, I'm just afraid he's taking advantage of your condition to... Uh, to do what? Well, inspiring me. And with his help... Peggy Hill is doing things I could never have done on her own. Right. Like, like scissoring. That's why I'm helping him with his application. Did he ever tell you how he survived eight days in a life raft by trapping rainwater in his upturned eyelids? <sighs> Damn. Yeah, oh, he might have mentioned that once shut or up. twice. May 2nd, 45. During the battle for Okinawa, Cotton invented a bayonet technique that is still used to gut men today. April oh. 30th, 45. At the occupation of Munich... Uh, hold on a minute. Munich, Germany? Yeah. Yes, Hank. Well, how did my dad fight in Germany and Japan at the same time? Well, let's see. Mm. April 30th, May 2nd. Oh, That's no. two whole days. How long does oh, it take no. to kill 50 men? Oh, was he lying? Yeah, Germany. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty far. I mean, I mean, if they needed to get you there, they could. But with a war going on, and be the logistics are crazy. You know what I'm saying? Oh no. Well, just let him be. Let him be. Let him be, bro. He's making her better, bro. Let him be. If he lied well, about a little get something. To work. Come on, grab some flowers. Hold on, Cotton. I have a few questions. You don't ask me questions. I ask the questions around here. She she does like to mess things up. Like, I understand she want to get to the bottom of it. Just get the training done and then whatever. Like, move it, move it, move it. Oh, oh God. What's wrong with you? You crawled yesterday. Now, come at me. Like on Okinawa when the Tojos came at me faster than I could get them, so I had to get them faster. You were never on Okinawa. Yes, I was. Then you were never in Munich. Yes, I was. Morning, Hank. Scrambled. <laughs> Black. Sports page. You don't even talk minutes. to him. Don't oh, even, he don't even God. talk to him. He just it was tell all lies. Why did I ever believe him? Why did I ever think that I could walk? Don't talk like that, Peggy. So I was right. That's not important now. But why? Why? What do you see? You're right you now. Right what? Back up on that horse. Because you're there right you now. Go. What? Pass me Cotton's application. He may rot in hell, but he will not rot in the Texas State Cemetery. What? Like, you know? And and now I'm back to now I'm back to Peggy's asshole. Now I'm back to her because even though he might have lied. And who knows if he lied or not. But even if he did lie, maybe he even got the dates wrong. Bro, you know what I'm saying? How long ago was that? But you're going to throw away, a, you're going to rip up an application after he 
slowly rehabilitated you for free, by the way. And like, like, why, bro? Like, you were that mad? Like, I don't know. That's that's. I can't respect that. <laughs> She's so stupid. <laughs> uh, sad ass paper, boy. Yeah, I I can't mess with that. Whether he lied or not, she still, you know. From your dress and demeanor, still can I assume you were about to take your own life in a cheap motel room with your service revolver? No cigar, Grimble. I'm headed over to the Texas <laughs> State Cemetery. Nice. You can't wear that to my hearing. Don't worry, Cotton. I won't. How yeah, good. Go change and meet me there. And show some leg. I ain't got much tone, but gams is gams. <laughs> okay. This Let's man talk like. all shit. I just talked to Ramsey. He said he'll take you back, but he's got to warn you. Mrs. Flores is already combing her own hair, so don't get jealous. What? Bro, come on. Why would you even go back there? Like, that's what SpongeBob. I'm saying. That's petty. Yo. Oh, wait. What? Combing her own hair, so don't get jealous. Who's ready for a sponge bath? Yo. <laughs> Let's see. Bicep curls. Where do we leave off? Five pounds. I'd like the half pounders, please. Okay. No. Let's get busy. <laughs> Come on. Just kidding. Let's take it slow. What? Bro, you're a freak, bro. Hell no. Nah. It's we time to go. Of Dr. I'd have wheeled her out of Dallas, there. 1984 to 1986. We proudly assign you, Barry Jenner, Cemetery Plot 4, Section K. That's Hank oh. Hill. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, they're gonna run out of graves. That concludes today's business. The Texas State Cemetery Commission will reconvene in six months. Hold on! You probably right. got one more man to bury. All right, pass up the application. Oh, well, I don't have it on me at the moment. It's being crippled over. Give me another minute. <laughs> Please. I'm afraid that's impossible. No, no, Crazy. no! Not the gavel. Don't bang the... <laughs> that's a gavel. <laughs> Meeting is not adjourned. <laughs> he stopped the meeting from being adjourned. Play bro, I, I, I hate how they treat veterans, bro. Great. I really do. <laughs> Would you please stop yelling at me? What was I thinking? She Munich? So soft Rat tails? He's no hero. He was just torturing me. He is a complete fraud. <sighs> now she goes right back to victim, bro. She was just doing so great, and now she just goes right back to victim. <sighs> Something. You what? did it, Hank. What are you muttering? Are you actually trying to defend him? <sighs> I said that fraud used to be six foot four. So? When he came back from the Pacific, he was five foot even. Yeah. I can't prove what he did at those battles. In fact, I don't even know if the part about hitting the doctor is true, but I do know that my dad doesn't have shins. Right. And somehow he walks. Right. And that's pretty heroic to me. And that is right. what I was muttering. And why did you murder I'm that? An Just old say it. Man. I got a newborn son. I can't let him visit me at a civilian cemetery. What kind of a place <laughs> is that for a child's birthday party? Mr. Chair, what? The chair recognizes Mrs. Peggy Hill. Don't just barge in like you the main character. Get your ass on somewhere. In deference to the committee's busy schedule, I have chosen to highlight only a few of Cotton Hill's many acts of bravery at Guam, the Solomon Islands, Sardinia, and Okinawa. Dang it, woman, you right. forgot Munich. You were never in Munich. I wasn't? No. <laughs> okay. Maybe he just does. He maybe he just forgot. Like, give him the benefit of the hey, doubt sometime, Stephen bro. Stephen Austin, is that the bionic guy or the wrestler? Oh God! Bro. I found it. That's a crazy thing to fight it's for, a but hey. Grave, Cotton. You deserve it. No, <laughs> she don't. She want to see you dead. Ain't you coming, Hank's wife? That's okay. I can see it from here. Come Not on the up same. here. Out of the chair. Let's go. Start climbing. But I, I can't. What do you mean you can't? Uh, he you on her ass. Because you're weak and lazy. <laughs> Cotton, please. I climbed the cliffs of Normandy with a pretty <laughs> pound ice cream maker strapped to my back. And you're telling what? me you can't climb a stupid little hill? All right, Cotton. Look, I know what you're doing. Is that a gun? I am very tired. You and get I... to the top of that. 
I don't wait, wait, pause. I don't want to see a gun that's named Ice Cream Maker, bro. Oh, Lord knows what it does to you. That's a flamethrower. And I'll let you dance on my grave. Damn, look. Uh, she, <laughs> she gonna uh, do that. Uh, Revenge uh, and spite uh, is a strong, move it, move it. strong motivator. Come on. Pain is a strong motivator. Go on here, Peggy. Probably looking like a crippled crab, man. Good to go. She got grass stain on uh, mustard. Cotton, <laughs> may I have this dance? Ah, uh, beautiful. Stop making all that damn noise. That's beautiful. This is beautiful. This is some Saving Private Ryan shit right here. <laughs> 